RAPD or randomly amplified polymorphic DNA are among the most popular genetic markers. RAPD markers are 10 nucleotides long arbitrary sequences that acts as forward as well as reverse primers and amplify complementary region in the genome. RAPD amplification depends upon the template complementarity region which occurs within the amplifiable limits of the DNA polymerase. Different individuals may have variation in RAPD primer binding sites revealing genetic variations among them based on the binding pattern of RAPD products resolved on the gross gel. The main advantage of RAPD markers are First, the assay is very easy and fast. It can be completed within 4 to 5 hours. Second, no prior sequence information is required for primer designing. Third, RAPD assay can be performed even with few nanograms of DNA. But there are few disadvantages with RAPD markers too. First is low reproducibility. As the primers are short and ending temperature is too low, non-specific amplicons can be produced and results may not always be reproducible. RAPD are dominant markers, that is they cannot distinguish between homozygous and heterozygous individuals. High quality of DNA is required otherwise results may vary. The above problems can be overcome by developing SCAR marker. A SCAR or sequence characterized amplified region markers are designed by cutting a specific polymorphic band from RAPD gel, sequencing it and then designing more template specific primer. Therefore, they are reproducible and codominant. Two other variants of RAPD are APPCR or arbitrary primed PCR in which longer arbitrary primers are used. Thus, the number of fragments amplified are less but they are more specific. The second variant is DAF or DNA amplification fingerprinting which uses shorter arbitrary primers about 5 to 8 nucleotides long and thus the number of fragments amplified are more but they are less specific. Nowadays with the advent of next generation sequencing technologies a lot of sequence information is generated in different species and sequence specific codominant markers like SSRs and SNP have replaced dominant markers. To know more about the types of markers and SSRs watch my videos. Thank you.